What's up, YouTube, and what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to episode number 16 of our Pokemon Coliseum Randomized Nuzlocke. In the last episode, which went up on Tuesday, uh, we made it here to a gate village uh, where we fought a whole bunch of Team Snagum members and got ourselves in position for today. If you want to check out that episode, make sure you go over to the top right of the screen where you can catch up on that. In today's episode, we are going to be purifying our first few Pokemon, and then I don't remember exactly where we go from there, but if you're excited for today's episode, please make sure you hit the like button. Uh, do subscribe if you're new, and let's go ahead and get to it with a quick party recap. <clears throat> first up, we have our Ice Steel type Poliwhirl, who only needs one more battle to be ready to um, purify, but he has Lightning Rod. Also, with Shadow Rush, Destiny Bond, Glare, and Assist. So, maybe we don't want to purify him, because he might not have any attacking moves. That's weird. Um, next up, we have our Dark Ghost-type Dragonair, who has no weakness. With Sand Veil, who's, I think, our newest member. So, quite a ways away from uh, unlocking. But we have Shadow Rush. Then we have our Grass Dark-type Hitmontop, with only one life. With Drought, which is terrible for his typing. Um, needs a few more battles to be ready, but he has Shadow Rush, Sheer Cold, and Sonic Boom. And then we have our Ground Steel type Ho-Oh with Battle Armor, who is ready to be purified. Timid Nature uh, with Shadow Rush, Mist Ball, Poison Powder, and Thrash. Do I want to purify these Pokemon? Their movesets are absolutely horrible. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, um, and then, so he has, yeah, we've already talked about that. Next up, we have our, our Water Ice type Porygon 2 with Cute Charm, who's also ready to be purified. He's Quirky Nature with Shadow Rush, Whirlpool, Rock Blast, and Iron Tail. Then we have our Ghost Rock type Skarmory <clears throat> uh, with Sturdy, who needs to purify so he can raise his level, uh, and that moveset is not bad. He has Shadow Rush, Cross Shot, Blaze, Kick. I think that is it so if we were to go with a team for today i would say we do something like this that those two can get ready to purify but again i'm thinking do we want to purify these things because losing shadow rush i guess i need to make that decision quickly don't i Oh, Victoria, Egan's in a heap of trouble. What shall we do? What shall we do? Egan might be the mystical trainer, the mythical trainer, but he's pushing his luck if he thinks he can battle at his age. You! Who are you? What are you doing here? Oh, although you may ask why we are here, we simply cannot answer that. I can see that you are a senior citizen, but I cannot allow you to interfere with our affairs. You're the one interfering, shady creeps like you. I'll personally run out. Ha ha ha, now now, someone so old shouldn't overdo it. Don't take me for a fool. I'll have you know I was once hailed as the most powerful trainer. That isn't all either. I have a comrade, uh, I have a, uh, comrade, yeah, I have a, wait. I have a comrade with whom I've been through thick and thin. This is the first Pokemon I got and it's been with me ever since. Okay, Pikachu, we haven't battled in much while. Let, let's keep focused. I wonder if these are going to be randomized. Or because it's story. Yeah, definitely randomized. <clears throat> I'm concerned. I'm concerned for what's going to happen. Because isn't... Doesn't Egan lose this in the normal game? <clears throat> also, isn't this thing normally a Dunsparce? Wow. Did he always win that? Huh. <sighs> didn't I say this? Didn't I say already? This man shouldn't overdo it. Grandpa! Pikachu! How dare you! You'll never get away with this. Ah! Now here's someone who may show me a more enjoyable time. Very well. On guard! Your dance bars just died. Like, you just got smacked up. What makes you think you can beat me? Actually, your Pokemon are pretty strong. Admittedly. Admittedly, your Pokemon are pretty strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
should have been paying attention to what moves it had, but that's so scary. Uh, I feel like I should immediately switch out. <laughs> oh, how? So I'm straight up just danced. He'll never convince me that that wasn't just a dance. He was dancing. That's all he was just doing. Uh, oh, perfect. That's a way to start. That's how we want to start this. If we get hit by a fire move, we're in trouble. Yep, kind of thought that would happen. That's okay, though. So I'm getting it. Okay, uh, sure, I guess. I guess that's okay. We're gonna go for a double shadow rush. No reason to call Poliwar right now. Call Poliwar at the end of the battle. I still don't know if I wanna, like, is purifying the right option? Is purifying the right option, or should I not, should I not do that thing? I have a Bulbasaur. That's cool. Why couldn't Bulbasaur be the one? I would love to have caught a level 38 Bulbasaur, who would immediately go to, a, like, a level 40 Venusaur. We have a Rhydon? That's powerful. That's powerful. Special attack and doesn't it also raise? Okay, I thought they raised something else. Also, if he uses a fire move on him on top, him on top is gone for the camp. All right, we're just gonna double shadow rush again. I don't think this will kill. Um... Okay, cool. Him on top, can you do a little more damage than that? Nope. <laughs> no, you cannot. Arm thrust. And Poliwhirl loses a life. Ah, it's been a while since we've lost a life. It's been a while since we lost a life. Who was it that only needed one more battle? Oh, it was Poliwhirl. Let me check. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's go, Dragonair. Let's go, Dragonair. Why are you still using growth? I, I don't understand that strategy. Well, kind of saw that coming. <laughs> I definitely should have seen that coming. Uh, okay, so next turn I should... Excuse me? Wait, what, wait? Was that sky attack or something? Alright, let's just do that. Because Dragonair has a ways to go, and Dragonair is one that I really do want to get purified. For obvious reasons. <laughs> okay, so right on is down. Watch this Dunsparce reveal flamethrower. Okay. Alright, I think I should switch out Dragonair. Who's my highest defense? Or does it even matter? I think I'm gonna shift, and I'm going to use Shadow Rush. I do not want Dragonair to lose a life. Dragonair is like the one that I'm like, I want Dragonair to stay with us as long as possible. Okay, so I actually think I should be able to catch it from this range. I'm gonna do a ball and then call hit on top. Ouch, that hurt. But that was a crit, so I'm not worried about going down this turn. So what we're gonna do is, I'm going to navigate over here. Use a great ball. It's level 38. And call. Make this easy on us. We haven't caught a Pokemon in a while. Make this easy on us, Dunsparce. Or don't, that's fine. Uh, all right, so now the strategy. I feel like we need to hit him again. I'm using bounce, is bounce a flying type move? like it is. And him on top can go for Sonic Boom. No, him on top's gonna go first. Sonic Boom's actually the perfect one. Oh, wow, well that, that worked out much better than I thought it would. So him on top use, uh, or I'm just gonna call Ho-Oh and just use Sonic Boom. Could probably go for one more of those. Wait a second. My brain did not work as I had intended it to. Like, why did I switch? Okay. Earlier, when I switched Porygon out, I was supposed to be switching Hip on top out because I knew that, like, I did the calculate. Anyway, I was stupid. But now Ho-Oh is chilling there. Whoa, you actually popped out with Ho-Oh chilling. Chilling and watching. <laughs> All right. Porygon has weak, uh, has a, not weak move, but a very, um, Low hitting move, low power move. What am I trying to say? Uh, I feel like Whirlpool is the best option. I'm not gonna be too upset if we don't get this done sparse now. We can get it later. Uh, but Whirlpool, I think, is the weakest move that we have. The only reason it goes down is if it's weak to it. Or if it misses. I guess I should have factored that in. All right, let's go for that Great Ball again. This is taking way too much time. I'm not throwing an Ultra Ball at a done sparse. I refuse. I refuse to throw an Ultra Ball at a done sparse. I'm still unsure if purifying is the best thing to do. Can I hit this Whirlpool, please? Why am I missing Whirlpool? Oh my god, I know it's early in the morning. I get it. I know it's early in the morning, but missing Whirlpool? How does Whirlpool even miss? Like, what's the what's the logic behind Whirlpool missing? This is getting annoying, frankly. But if I kill it, like, I really don't. Am I missing something? Oh.
Is it really missing because the sun is up? Also, why has the sun been up for so long? The only reason I'm throwing these balls is because I'm trying to catch all of these Shadow Pokemon. Thank you. Thank you. You will not be on the team unless your stats are ridiculous. I should have declined. Yeah, you should have. Scrub. That was not enough money for all of the Pokeballs that that just cost me. I have been instructed to capture Celebi, then destroy the Relic Stone, but matters have not gone according to plan. I shall have to uh, have to immediately inform Dakim, who has gone to Mount Battle. Okay, well, that just told us what's next. Grandpa, are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, old voice. I'm fine, but my partner... B Bika? Ah, you're safe. Good, good. You battle with honor. If your opponent was any ordinary Pokemon, you would have won. That was the Shadow Pokemon. Victoria. <laughs> Victoria, Ed Domino, am I right? Thank you for helping us. We should go home for the time being. Not pick up the glowing folder. Uh, Bella is the woman. <laughs> you, you have me worried. Please don't do anything rash, rash and dangerous again. I'm sorry, dear, but I couldn't let, I couldn't very well let them have their way. Those crooks, they were out to capture Celebi and destroy the Relic Stone. Hmm, but why? Uh, or why? That, might there be a connection between Celebi and Shadow Pokemon? No, no, that's no good. We came here because we thought you would know something, Grandpa. Hmm, sorry to disappoint you. Oh, yes. Didn't we, didn't we have a stone tablet? Oh my gosh, I cannot read. <clears throat> It had something about relic carved into it. Ah, oh, yes, we did have such a tablet, stone tablet. Now, where could I have put it away? Let me go look for it upstairs. It may take some time. Please be patient. While she's looking, you might try gathering more information on Celebi, Victoria. I want to see an old man named Senior. He lives near the Pokemart down the hill. Senior, Senior is the authority when it comes to Celebi. That is, if he remembers. Man, I cannot read. What's new? I mean, I've never been able apparently. Wait. Oh, that's how you get up here. We're dying. That's the strength. My tailor brings me berries. Blah, blah, blah. Thanks for the Petra Berry. You know what? That could come in. Ha that could come in very handy. Uh, what am I doing? I need Pokemon Center. Let's go. I think this is the way to the Pokemon Center. Indeed. Well, that's frustrating. Poliwhirl lost a life, and that Dunsparce took literally eight years to catch. And now I don't have. I think I'm out of Great Balls or something. Also, are we not purifying right now? That is that the message I'm getting? Alright, let's check out our Dunsparce. He is fighting Dark type with Sturdy, and his stats suck. So he's gonna stay right where he is. Even though Psychic doesn't hurt me at all. And I'm pretty sure. Bug wouldn't hurt. Bug would be neutral. It's not horrible. And he is level 38, so I could switch him out for Skarmory. Uh, let's go ahead and. S Might as well. I guess every time that we touch one of these, we should say. <laughs> this new schedule of mine where I'm having to record in the morning, like, it's. It's not even 9 a.m. yet, and I'm recording, is very strange. But is what it is. I haven't really had the time to record like three episodes of, of any game. All right, what does this in file say? Celebi's power. The purification of shadow Pokemon has several factors. Celebi appears to have the power to boost the purification process. If a shadow Pokemon encounters a Celebi, it recalls how its heart was before being closed and reverts to its original form. The relic stone of a gate village also appears to have the power to complete the purification process. These factors must be eliminated if our shadow Pokemon plans to succeed. Okay, so I cannot purify. Okay, so actually I might not be able to purify, which is okay, I suppose. 
Um, the Shadow Rush is our best move on everybody. <laughs> Alright, so let's head and talk to the person that, it, that they told me to talk to. Uh, should I assume it's this guy? Goff? Uh, is it this guy? Oh, they say it lives at the house down the way? I, I, I get it. Thank you. Thank you for your input, woman. I did not ask any of that. Uh, okay, maybe it's this house right here. Here we go. Oh right, you want to see my dad? He's been getting pretty forgetful lately though. I'm afraid he might not be much help to you. Oh, he's sitting right here. Ah, oh, you're, you're Egan's beloved Torchic. No wait, who did you say you were? What's that? You wanted to see me, Celebi, or what? See, see any lore about Celebi? Have no fear, no problem. Forget something that important, that's not gonna happen. Let me start with the relic in the Lost Fort. Okay, I need to, I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna focus, hold on, hold on. Come on, eyes. Help me read. According to ancient lore, that relic is said to hold the power of time travel for Celebi. That mythical power, mystical power is said to revive the most pleasant, most enjoyable memories of Pokemon. If only it worked on me and brought back my memories of youth. Oh, would you like to hear more? Sure. To meet Celebi directly, you must use an item called the Time Flute. That is all, that is all one needs to bring uh, Celebi to the Relic Forest. Celebi will surely cause, cause darkness to flee from the hearts of any Pokemon. Okay. But I need the Time Flute. Now, is the Time Flute like... Do I have to find like three Time Flutes to get three of my Pokemon? Ah, Victoria, welcome home. I finally found the small tablet. This is the small tablet that has been passed out through our family over many generations. Examine it. Is it, is it an... Is it an iPad? If it's not an iPad, I can't use it. This is important. I, I can't use it if it's not an iPad. There's an iPad sitting right here. Not technically sponsored by Apple. Sorta of, kinda of sponsored by Apple. There are words carved into stone to- oh, this is me. In a Gates Mystic Relic- oh my goodness, I can't read! In a gate's mystic relic, Celebi's power shelters. A heart imprisoned by shadows, its last door shall be opened by the power within. The relic must have some effect on shadow Pokemon. I will leave that for you to break up a Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, Domino, your PDA just read. You know what? If I, if I was ever hanging out with someone and my phone rang and they went, Oh, Domino, your phone just rang. You should check it. Oh, right. It might be duking with some news. Quick, let's check it out. Or do I have to walk back? Or do I have to walk back? Domino's email. Oh, my God. Don't don't caps me. Domino, we've got big trouble. I just got word from our people that Mount Battle... Oh, wait. This is duking? Domino, we've got big trouble. I just got word from our people that Mount Battle is under attack by a mysterious group of thugs. Please, can you go help? We think it's the same group the one Mirror Bleed belongs to. We're counting on you. Okie dokie. What? Those crooks are loose on Mount Battle now? That's awful. We can't let this go on. Domino, let's go. Oh, wait. Grandpa, where's Mount Battle anyway? Uh, Mount Battle is to the northeast. You can see it at the distance once you leave the village. Hurry, Victoria. Oh, I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. I'm, we gotta get to Mount Battle. We gotta get to Mount Battle quick. We, we can't let we can't let this this mysterious team who might be the same as Mirror B's team get to Mount Battle. We just have to hurry and get there. We just have to hurry. I'm gonna go to the outskirts stand just real real quick because <laughs> we have things that we need to do first. <clears throat> For example. All right, what I what you got? What you got? What I need? All right, 
right, we're gonna go with this. Four. Okay. That'll be fine. Cause I think I have potions and stuff. I think I have potions and stuff. I'm not really worried. <clears throat> All right, let's head to Mount Battle, a place of challenging training, a, a, a place of challenging training for all trainers. It's currently held by a sinister gang. That's scary. Is that like, is she supposed to be on like a, ooh. Well, that's not what I thought was gonna happen. Admittedly, that's not what I thought was gonna happen. I was pretty sure that there was an item somewhere. Are you okay? It's terrible, it's terrible. I tell you it, wait. It's terrible, it's terrible. I tell you it's terrible. Mount Battle is under attack by a group of shady people. I'm so out of breath. Yeah, stop running around. Thinking about taking the Mount Battle challenge, forget about it. I keep I keep clear of that place for now. I hear Mount Battle's been taken over by a bunch of trainers that use weird Pokemon. Let's run up. Let's run up. Bunch of creepy looking trainers came and started attacking other trainers without any warning. Those trainers, the Pokemon they had weren't normal any way you look at them. Looks like they're after Vander, who's an area leader, but why would anyone want to do that? I'd go to help, but the best I've ever managed is eight consecutive wins. I wouldn't get very far. Yeah, you suck. Uh, that's where I exchange stuff. Did I ever heal? I don't think I'd ever healed. Yes, I did. Never mind. That got quiet. I have no idea why that randomly got quiet. Alright, um... You're not a Mart, right? Okay, um... Let me, let me check my healing items. So, we have seven Hyper Potions and three Super Potions. Alright, so to finish off the episode, we're gonna head to the Mart in Pyrite Town. And stock up on a few more items because I just noticed that I can sell some stuff. Alright, so there was no reason to show all of what I just did, so I'm just gonna cut that out of there. Um, basically, I just went and got some, some items, some new items. Um, I guess I'll save and then show. So I realized that in our bag we had four like um uh what are they called? Um like the proteins and the all that stuff. So we sold those. We got ourselves ten of each of these. We got ourselves a few more revives, because with our special rules we can use revives as long as Pokemon has a life to give, uh in case things go horribly wrong. And then we did stock up on some um some different Pokeballs. So um, that's going to do it for today's episode of Pokemon Coliseum. In the next episode, we head straight up this mountain battle to fight... Uh, I almost called his name, but I don't remember. We will surely hear his name in the next episode. If you enjoyed today's, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button down below. Do subscribe if you're new, and comment what you're thinking about this series so far. Uh, what your favorite thing is about it, who your favorite party member. Comment something in the comments below so I know you're enjoying. And we'll see you on Saturday for the next episode of Pokemon Coliseum Randomized Nuzlocke. Until then, have a blessed day.